What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from No Shelf Space and today we are taking a peek at Life of the Amazonia. This is the Kickstarter edition. It was sent over by my friends at Bad Comet Games. In Life of the Amazonia, you're going to be building a bag of resources and coins to purchase animals, to purchase terrain tiles, to re- Build the Amazon, I suppose. Uh, we're going to have so many things to build. We've got macaws, jaguars, we've got tree frogs, caimans, we've got river otters, so much more. Toucans, tamarins, there's so much going on in this game and I'm really excited about it. Some people have built it as a Cascadia with bag building, so let's see if that's true. But first, let's unbox the game and see what's inside. All right, once we get this lid off, there we go. Beautiful lid. We'll set that off to the side over, maybe right there. How about that? All right, we have a rule book. You guys know I love to show you the rule book and nice and detailed. A lot of the front pages are just building all the stuff that goes in the box. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and then the introduction, gameplay. Let's see, gameplay. In total, the rules are, I mean, the entire rules is... 27 pages. I know you like to see that, but that's appendix. Uh, probably the solo mode as well. Variant modes, like there's so many different merit variant modes to play. There's a lot going on in this game. From the same people who did Wild Serengeti. You guys know I love that one. It was in my top five animal games. I'll link that video down below. It was in my top five animal games, Wild Serengeti, but Life of the Amazonia might go in there as well. Okay, various tiles here. Let me show these off. So these are single terrain tiles. They're special, but here's our here are the regular terrain tiles. And as you can see, they're they're hexed here. Uh, you'll put them down. Very very cool. These are the Automa tiles, I believe. Yeah, those are the Automa tiles. These ones here, and then we have uh, these little lily pad tiles, cardboard, um, and so much more. So there's one sheet. These are all the, sorry, I bumped the camera. These are all the trees. Now this is not the thickest of cardboard. I will say that right off the bat. This is pretty thin card, all things considered, but there's all the trees. You got to put all of those together and then you start seeing some of the tokens. These are the tokens you're going to be putting into your bag and essentially building a better bag. There's the seeds that counts as a wild token and so much more there. So that's two. Here's another one here. So this one's a little bit different. These are the trays and they'll pop out and you'll create trays. And I'll show that to you after we've unboxed everything. I'll build it all and then show you what that all looks like. But those are trays. So it's a third punch board. This is more stuff for the trays. A fourth punch board. More tiles right here. They're popping out already. I guess I can show you that one right there. There's the back side. There you go. That's what they look like. They have these little symbols on them when you place an animal. This one lets you pull something from your bag. This one here lets you grab a seed. Uh, I don't know what that one does, but there's a bunch of different tiles. Oh, the X, that lets you get rid of one of your tiles from your bag. So there we go, we got more. All right, uh, there's also boats, and this is sticking. There's also, they're all popping out. <laughs> this is a boat. Uh, it's actually just a discard boat. Once it's all built, again, I'll show you the boat built uh, before the video is over. But once it's built, you'll actually discard into the boat, and then when you need to put everything back in your bag, you just dump the boat into the bag. It's actually really handy. There we go, that's that. These are actually pretty warped from being in the box. You can see that. Now this was shipped to me. Hopefully that doesn't make it a problem, but they're pretty warped, as is this one. This one here is also a little bit warped. This is your waterfall of life. It'll be 3D when it's all said and done, kind of like that. It'll look like that when it's built. Again, we'll show that to you built. All right. This is the Kickstarter version of the game. So it did come with all the Kickstarter extras, such as these tokens right there. Uh, these are the unique animal tokens. So you can see we got a manatee in there. We've got a capybara, anteater, uh, fruit bat. What else do we got going on here? Uh, we got some piranhas, a howler monkey it looks like. Very cool. These here are the animal cards. Now, there are a variety of different animal cards, and you'll try to be scoring these uh, during the game. So, for instance, a woodpecker. Each grouping of one woodpecker and one adjacent tree scores you four points. So, essentially, you want to have a woodpecker next to a tree. A uh, woodpecker can be built on either of these terrain types, so grass or prairie, and that's how much it costs 
to build a woodpecker. Now there are more than one woodpecker cards because as you can see, here's a different woodpecker card. Each woodpecker adjacent to a tree scores three points. So it's a little bit different. This one is groupings and this one is just adjacent. So you could have, you know, a tree and a woodpecker on either side of that tree and they would both score, right? Because each of the woodpeckers are adjacent to a tree. You don't need a grouping of them. It just has to be adjacent. This woodpecker though can only be built in a forest in this game but has the same cost. So there's lots of different cards. These were a Kickstarter uh, bonus. These were a stretch goal. All right, here we go. These are the insect and terrain or environment cards or whatever they are. Essentially, uh, some of them are end game scoring cards and some of them are in game bonus cards, like allowing you to take a certain kind of token or something like that. Score pad, very nice. And then bags, and I will just show you one, but they do come, well, I'll show you all of them. They do come in four different colors, green, yellow, blue, and white. They are nice, really nice bags. And this is where you'll be tossing your tokens. And now there was a Kickstarter stretch goal to make these bags bigger. So I don't know when the retail version comes out, whether it will have the bigger size bags, but they're nice bags and they are, they are stitched, which is really great to see with a drawstring. And so that's where you'll be tossing your various tokens and then we got the animals and i'll pull these out and let's see if i can show off a good old handful of them here uh here we go and i'm just going to dump these make a mess let's see if we can get the the problem will be getting the camera to focus there we go that is a river frog or a tree frog this is your macaw right there very nice here is a caiman and these are all screen printed and the screen printing is very nice on these there's your Cayman. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Did I grab like one of everything in this handful? I might have. There's your River Otter. Uh, this is just a player token. Everybody will have four of those. Uh, let's see here. This is a... I forget what that is. An Anaconda? No, it's not an Anaconda. I don't know what that is. It's a snake of some kind. There we go. We got the snake. Although I think... Oh, that might be another unique animal. That is another unique animal. As is this dolphin here is a unique animal. Um, let me see what else. I just gotta make sure I have a little bit of everything here. Oh, here we go. There is the tamarind right there. Is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus, is it? There you go, there's your tamarind, a uh, little woodpecker. And you can see some of the animals will take up. Here's another unique, there's another unique bird. Each, um, here's another unique. The turtle, there's lots of uniques in this game. There's a turtle. Let me just see if I can find them all. Oh, I don't think I've shown off a toucan yet. That is not a unique. It's a toucan. As you can see, as I was saying, some of them are a one size and some of them are a two size and will take up two tiles. What else do we have? I just wanna make sure we show off all the uniques. I'm sure I'm missing some. I don't love this insert already, um, but that might be all of the, nope, here we go. There is a sloth right there. The unique sloth. And I'm I'm sure there's something I'm missing probably, but but there we go. Yeah. Alright, that's everything you get in the base game. Now, bad comet was nice enough to also send over these upgrade packs, which means <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I pop out, I'm not gonna have to worry about. So these are the trees. So instead of having to build those cardboard trees. I have little wooden trees. Now, I don't know if that's going to focus. Now, I love, they smell weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love, is it going to focus? I don't know if it's ever going to focus, but there we go. I don't actually love the printing. I said I love like three times, but I don't love the printing on the trees. Uh, but I do like this. There you go. That's a water lily, so I don't need to punch out the water lilies. Uh, a seed. Here we go. So I don't need the seeds. I'll punch them out, but I don't need them. And then uh, Automa tokens as well. So if you're going to play solo, there you go. Automa tokens as well. So that's in that bag. And then this bag, this box here is the upgraded wooden tokens. Uh, and I didn't show these off earlier, so I can show them off now. We have, and I've got some stuck together. Okay. So there are coins, different valued coins. There is different value water, uh, different value. A lot of them are stuck together. 
a different value uh, food and different value leaves. Now these are going to be a lot nicer. I think the same with Wild Serengeti. I bought Wild Serengeti and I got the um, upgraded to uh, upgraded bits for that as well. And I just think they're better. So I'm going to give you a side by side comparison of the cardboard and the wood. The cardboard is there on the left. The wood, of course, on the right. I think the big thing to look at here, and I'm going to try to get this to, it's just that, that thickness difference. And this over time, like this is not the best card. It's not. Um, so over time, I think pulling these out of the bag and touching them a lot, especially in a bag builder, like you don't want to be touching these cardboard bits because after time with, you know, wet, sweaty hands, and everything else, they are going focus failed. I know they're going to, to kind of become a little bit undesirable to play with, but these wood ones are very, very nice. All right. I'm going to cut away for a second because I'm going to build the waterfall of life and I'm going to build the boats and the boxes and then we'll be right back and I'll be sure to show you that stuff. All right, let's see how hard it is to put these boats together. All the instructions I need are right here. And let's grab ourselves one of the boats. And it looks like there are a couple pieces here that we need. I need that. I need that. Um, this might be it for the boats. All right. <clears throat> Let's see how this works. There is a ton of stuff to punch out. All right, so, um, oh, there's little bits here that have to come out. Let's get those. There. And I'm just going to build one and show you one. And then, of course, I will do all the other ones after. But there we go. That's that. And right, ugh, right there. Okay, so those are all punched. Um... So the color is supposed to go at the top, so they fold like, this is weird, like, oh, okay, okay. So this piece, so we got this piece, this piece is gonna go here and like that, I think. Oh, I just see, look at that, I just wrecked it. Ugh. And then this comes together like, okay, it'll be fine once I put it back together. Okay, it'll be okay. And then this goes like this, and then this piece goes like, oh my goodness, like, if I can get it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't ask me to build things apparently. It's not gonna go well. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how this works. Is it just, oh, it might just be like that. Okay, just like that. And then we'll put one on the other side here. And then just remind me, where is my other piece? Just remind me never to be the blue player because that's how it goes. All right, there you go. There's your completed boat. And then all your tokens go in there and then you just dump them out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to fix that, but we'll do that. Perfect. All right, those are the boats. Let's look at the boxes. Okay, so I think assembling these things is gonna be a lot, a little bit harder to show, but we'll have these here. You can see the fold lines right there. So this will fold uh, like this. And I think it should say the same thing on both sides. It does. Okay, so it's gonna fold like that. Then you're gonna have to put in, you have a couple different pieces. You've got these ones here, which are for the middle sections. And then you've got these ones here that have this extra hook on them for the lid as you can see down here and right here there's a lid that'll slide on top to store everything so if we're doing this right uh, I think we want the higher value on the left the lower value on the right so we're gonna stick this in like so now since we're talking about it I'll go back to the boat situation um, let me just get these in here. I question the integrity of the boats, but like the other boats really quick, they all went together really easily. So I just count that as just a screw up on my part. Um, but we'll see how the, like, I've punched enough games to know when something 
is really solid. I knocked the camera. I didn't even realize. Sorry about that, guys. I know when something's really built, like when card or when you know cardboard chip bits and things are are of good quality, and I can tell when they're of bad quality. These ones aren't bad quality. They're just not very thick. Now, I'm not so much worried about. I mean, it's a little bit of work. I'm not so much worried actually about this token tray because I think once this is all together, it's actually going to be fairly solid. Um, so this one, I'm actually not that worried about. But those boats, I've got concerns about how well those boats are going to hold up long term. Major concerns? No, not really. And it doesn't really matter. If the boats were to break or not be usable, they're just discard boats. You can discard into a pile or into a bowl or into anything. But there we go. So there's the tray built. And then you just take the lid. And it should theoretically slide on. I mean, there we go. And it should just slide on like so. And this will store right in the box. And then because we have them, let's just open this up again. And we've got our little bits. Um, I'm not going to obviously sort them all. But we've got a couple here that we could probably... These are all sticking together. Oh, it's not a problem. Uh, it's probably a design thing. All right, so here's a four water, a three water, three, four. Uh, here's some four foods. Uh, some three foods. Uh, and some... There we go. So we're starting to sort, uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I'm going to set these aside. We're starting to sort, but this is kind of what it'll look like once you get going. And uh, these ones will fit, even though they're, um, of course, again, a lot larger than the cardboard. They will fit all into the box. And again, I'll show you that when I finish. All right, and now we'll try to put everything back in the box. Here's the token trays with the tokens. And they are going to slide, I think, just like that right there. Here are the boats, and I think they might be able to lay. <laughs> Look, my clothespin, because I glued it back together. Look, it's good as new. It's going to go there, I think. Oh, I didn't like, when I saw them ha putting this game away, I did not like how it went away. I haven't even opened those cards yet, but I think for the sake of putting this in the box, um, there's a video online. If you need help with it, uh, let's see. Tokens, tokens, <laughs> animals, more animals. Now we can think I can put maybe put these on top, like so. Maybe uh, the bags. Let's see if this is actually going to work. And then I need to get a baggie for these. Um, as long as I don't turn it sideways, I should be able to put everybody's tokens inside their boats to start the game or inside the bags. I didn't uh, I didn't think that through. So for now, we're just gonna throw them in like that. Throw these in. This is giving me this is giving some people some serious OCD. <laughs> but here we go. And I think. We take the tree of, oh, there's another bag that I didn't put in here. Let's just throw that on top. Tree of life. Rule book. And it's it's not going to sit flush, but there we go. An unboxing of Life of the Amazonia with the upgraded bits. And there's everything we're not going to be using. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thanks for watching. And we'll talk again soon. Goodbye.